Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Edit Place. And today we are going to be talking about DaVinci Resolve bugs and how to fix them. So here's the thing. I've been using Resolve for the past, I'd say, full-time three years or so. And over that period of time, I've been on the beta, the public version, studio version, messed around with the free version. And I've noticed a few consistent bugs that I've had in almost every version doesn't necessarily happen all the time but uh it kind of comes up and so i wanted to kind of uh show them to you and then show you how to fix them in case these are more popular than you know just me because obviously a lot of times bugs happen to many people if you're a resolve user leave some bugs that you've experienced and if you have fixes for them please leave that as well uh, or if you don't have a fix leave it as an issue down below and then I'll take a look at it. And if I know the fix, I'll let you know, or hopefully other people can join in the conversation. And this can kind of be a one-stop shop for all resolve issues. And if you like this video idea in general, but you use Final Cut Premiere, let me know and I'll do a video for the other programs as well. All right, so the first one is no audio at all. And what I mean by that is I would have this bug where uh, if I just recently dropped in a clip, so if I go to some open space over here, I go into a roll and drop it in. See how obviously the waveforms are here, but when I would make a brand new project, import some footage and drag it in there, it wouldn't show up. Now, generally this happens because the file may be really big and so it just takes uh, depending on your computer, a couple seconds or maybe even like a minute uh, to process everything. And so if you play it back, you should hear the audio, but you may not see the waveforms for a little bit. But I've had numerous a time in the latest, latest versions of Resolve 17, I haven't had it. So maybe it's finally fixed, but for a good two and a half years or so, uh, I had it every couple projects that I would work on and I would just never see it show up. And so the fix for that was pretty simple. Uh, I would either have to restart um, the resolve entirely, or sometimes I could just go back to the home screen, go into another project, and then uh, reopen the project and kind of jump back again. I think it's just something where it was trying to read the file and then just would like forget about it or get caught up uh kind of hung up on itself and so it just needed something to refresh like hey let's load this file entirely so that one pretty simple fix the next one actually also has to do with audio and that is a mono audio issue this is where i would import again uh clips or music or just audio assets uh, like sound effects in general and i would only see mono audio and um because I'm not going to try and like, you know, import a million clips until it happens. I just kind of made this clip right here glitched out in general. So if we look right here, if I turn on my, where is it? So if I look at a normal clip of what it's supposed to look like, let me solo it so you don't hear the music. Um, we can look on the mixer over here and you're going to see both of these bars kind of pop up equally. That tells us that it's stereo audio. It has the left and right channel. But if I go to this clip, you can see that the right kind of cuts out and now we only have left audio. Um, and so the fix is quite simple. It's annoying when this happens, but you definitely want to do this before you start cutting it a million times or else it can just get annoying. You have to select it all and whatever. Uh, but basically, but if you simply right click on the affected clip, Go to clip attributes and then under the audio tab here so if you're on video just go over to audio you'll probably see it say mono and embedded channel one you simply just need to change this to stereo and then make sure that this is also not um, the same thing so that we get left and right here so you shouldn't really have to change these too much but pretty much just going from mono to stereo get that left right in there now you have stereo audio. So yeah, I've seen that affect uh, video clips like this with audio attached to it, sound effects, or music files only. 
and sometimes I don't notice it all the way until like I'm exporting it if it's not a super important like audio file. Uh, so that can be super annoying. This next one is a huge pain and that is render fails and not just like a one-off render fail for whatever reason. Consistently, a video will not export. It just keeps failing. I haven't had too many issues when, since I've upgraded to this computer last year, so this may be for the more underpowered machines, but it still happens from time to time, uh, no matter what computer specs you have. Now, besides the obvious, again, performance type stuff where it's like, oh, you shouldn't have Photoshop, uh, YouTube and Chrome and Premiere open while you're trying to export a video and resolve, a lot of times I would sit there and I'd watch it fail at the same percentage, like at, you know, 29% of the video finishing exporting, uh, I, it would always fail. And you can watch the timeline as it's kind of doing its thing and exporting. And a lot of the time, the culprit, I would say probably 90% of the time, it was a fusion title and sometimes it would be as simple as this this annoyed me beyond any other bug imaginable because obviously you want to add titles and transitions and whatever graphics to your videos but if you are consistently having those issues you may be affected by this as well and i'll talk about a couple of solutions in a second but man this one followed me it seemed like all the versions of Resolve that I would use is every once in a while, um, a title would just completely hold up the entire export. And so I would always go through a couple of steps. Some of them would just be just restarting the export, like close DaVinci, reopen it, export. Sometimes that would work. Um, the unfortunate ones would be when I would just give up and be like, okay, I'll just add this title in like Final Cut. And so I'd have to go back to my edit page. I would delete the title um, and then export it. It would, of course, go through. And then I would just open that finished video file in like Final Cut or Premiere, add the title there, and then re-export again. Super cumbersome, but if you have to add it in there, you need to get it out. Um, you may not want to jump through all the other hoops and just kind of go for that. Again, it's pretty easy to identify if you click export or render and it fails right as soon as it gets to that title. It pretty much tells you that that is the issue. I will say there is one little less extreme uh, thing you can try if you have to have a title. Uh, so if you go back to your edit page, so this is a very basic uh, title here but let's say this was a fusion title which usually has like the animations and stuff these titles would be the ones that usually cause the uh, render to fail um, and so sometimes if you are okay with giving up whatever fancy animation the title was you can delete it just add a regular basic title you know, maybe keyframe, maybe do add a transition or something to it uh, to give it a little bit of spice. But sometimes just using a basic title will help with that as well. Fusion stuff, again, I don't know if it's just taxing or what it is. Again, let me know down in the comments below if you've had these same issues. All right, and here's the big fix that if you are really having trouble, you've rebooted Resolve a bunch of times, you've tried turning things off, turning them off, and things are just really not working for you. Um, the last resort that I always went to before like switching to Premiere or Final Cut or something, because I don't have that many issues, is head over to good old Blackmagic's website, go to the support tab, and under latest downloads, you can pretty much find all of the versions for DaVinci Resolve, both the paid and the studio version, um, as well as you'll find the uh, public beta version as well as the uh, public version. Here under the latest downloads tab, you'll find pretty much everything. If you want to make it easier on yourself, you can just click this button here or search uh, DaVinci Resolve Studio or whatever. And you'll find all of the past versions that you can jump around to. So if 17.1 is giving you a ton of issues, then, you know, just go back to 
17. And again, you'll have the free version Resolve 17 and the paid version Resolve Studio 17. Uh, you can download either one, but obviously the studio is going to ask for an activation code or whatever. And if 17 is giving you tons of issues, you can go all the way back to 16 uh, if you want and just download for your necessary platform and kind of play around with that. I will say if there are any of you who are using 16 because you like to wait a significant amount of time, uh, I will say 17 is the most stable version. They have done a really good job um, at uh, kind of getting better as software should with every update. Um, so I haven't had any new major bugs. And honestly, when it comes to crashes, uh, I know a lot of Premiere people always ask me that. I've had maybe like a handful of crashes in the entire three years or so of using it. And on 17, I don't think I've had a single crash. Maybe once, but I don't remember. So um, yeah, 17 is doing pretty solid, but uh, yeah, it's still, I'm having a couple of those, like mono audio was the biggest one that I've seen um, so far. And again, when I say biggest one, it's happened like a handful of times in the past couple of months, but still annoying. So let me know down in the comments below, what bugs have you guys seen? Let's get some fixes going and help each other out um, to not have such a stressful uh, time editing. So yeah, if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.